Hi friends, today I discuss diversity in living organism. Diversity in living organism. So first I discuss on classification. Classification. So the very first thing is what is biodiversity? What is biodiversity so the biodiversity is the variety of living beings found in geographical area is called biodiversity of that area so we can say variety of living things variety of living things found in geographical area found in geographical area is called biodiversity is called biodiversity of that area and if i take an example of biodiversity then Amazon Amazon rain, rainforests Amazon Amazon rainforests rainforests are the largest biodiversity are the largest biodiversity largest biodiversity now discuss classification of biodiversity classification of biodiversity so first thing now first question come in mind why the need of why i need of classification then classification is necessary for easier study of living being classification age necessary for easier study of living beings so without proper classification it would be impossible to study million of organisms which exist on the earth so basis of classification basis of classification now discuss on which basis i classified the microorganism i classified the microorganism or biodiversity so first classification on a ancient greek thinker named aristotle ancient greek thinker aristotle classified living beings on the basis of their habitat so classified classified on the basis of their habitat their habitat habitat and then classify and then classified in two groups classified in two groups the in first group those living in water those living in water and the second one those living on lawn land those living on land but this classification was too simple to justify inclusion of a particular organism into a particular group now the second base of classification age now second base of classification age organization of organization of, 
ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ न्यूक्लियस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ न्यूक्लियस Now nucleus may or may not be organized in an organism. On the basis, organisms can be divided in two groups. Divided in two groups. The first group is prokaryotes. The first group is prokaryotes, and the second group is. eukaryotes so on the basis of organization of nucleus it have it has a two types first is prokaryotes and second is eukaryotes now discuss in first prokaryotes in this nucleus is not organized nucleus is not organized and nucleus materials are not membrane bound not membrane bound now nucleus material are not membrane bound are not membrane bound now the second eukaryotes in this nucleus is organized in this nucleus is organized and materials are membrane bound and materials are membrane bound membrane bound now on the basis of now on the basis of the basis of number of cell number of cells on the basis of number of cells a organism can be composed of a single cell or many cells single cells or many cells so it is of two types the first is unicellular organism and the second is multicellular organism multicellular organism in unicellular organism in unicellular organism they have only one cell and in multicellular organism more than one cell more than one cell now fourth on the basis of mode of nutrition mode of nutrition mode of nutrition now on the basis organism can be divided in two groups again in two group first group is autotrophs and the second group is heterotrophs heterotrophs an autogra autotroph an autotroph make its own food make its own food and heterotrophs depend on depend on other organism other organism for food for food so this is a 
this is that this is the type of classification mode of nutrition the next so now fifth mode now fifth mode is level of organization level of organization level of organization so in number of cell or on the basis of level of organization even in case of multicellular organisms there can be different level of organization the first is the first is cellular level the first is cellular level of organization the first is cellular level of organization the second is tissue level of organization tissue level of organization and the third is organ level of organization organ level of organization so these are three types first is cellular level of organization second is tissue level of organization and the third is organic level of organ level of organization in first in first when cell is responsible for all activities throughout the life throughout the life this is called cellular level of organization and when some cells groups together to perform a specific function so this is called tissue level of organization and the third one is when tissue group together to form some organs so it is called organ level of organization and organ level of organization seen in seen in complex seen in complex organism so i hope you understand what is diverse biodiversity and why i need for classification and what is and classification on the basis on the which basis on which parameter i classified biodiversity so please download the scholar learning app and if you already download this then enjoy learning thanks to watching this video